Hello Cardboard Lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well and today we have for you another financial breakdown video. We're going to be looking at one of the Marvel Secret Lair collaborations which will be coming out very shortly on the 4th of November. We're looking at the Marvel's Captain America Secret Lair. This is a five card set with obviously an increased price point. If you want these in regular, the non-foil versions, they are going to be $39.99 and an increase for the foil slot too. These five cards in foil are going to set you back $49.99. Also, it is worth noting, if you happen to spend $199 or for each $199 spent on Marvel Super Drop products while supplies last, you will get a bonus card. That bonus card happens to be Arcane Signet, Earth's Mightiest Emblem. So as per normal, we will look at the artwork for this new secret lair before we see whether or not we can buy the functionally identical cards from a previous set in Magic the Gathering's history to see whether or not we are getting some value or we are paying well over the odds for some fancy reprints. Pricing, as per usual, is from TCG Player and is correct as of the timing of this video. So let's have a look at these cards. We are starting off with Captain America First Avenger for three mana, red, white and blue. We have a legendary creature, human soldier hero. It's a 4-4 and it has throw for three mana. Unattach an equipment from Captain America. He deals damage equal to that equipment's mana value divided as you choose among one, two, or three targets. It also has catch. At the beginning of combat on your turn, attach up to one target equipment you control to Captain America. This is really interesting and a world of fun. Next, we have Captain America's Aid, or Sagarda's Aid. For one white mana, we have an enchantment with. You may cast aura and equipment spells as though they had flash. And whenever an equipment you control enters, you may attach it to target creature you control. We also have Flawless Maneuver for three mana, two and a white. We have an instant with, if you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Creatures you control gain indestructible until the end of turn. We also have In the Trenches for three mana, one white white. We have an enchantment with creatures you control get plus one plus one. And for six mana, five and a white. We have exile target non-land permanent you don't control until In the Trenches leaves the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery and only once. And the final card, we have Shield of War and Peace or Sword of War and Peace. For three mana, we have an Artifacts Equipment. A quick creature gets plus two, plus two and has protection from red and from white. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, Sword of War and Peace deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand and you gain one life for each card in your hand with an equip cost of two. So there is the artwork. For the Captain America Secret Lair, very fantastic indeed. The question is, can we get the functionally identical cards from a previous set of Magic Gathering's history? As per normal, we will start off with the regular, the non-foil. We've got the increased price, so we've got a target of $39.99. And we're going to be unable to price Captain America First Avenger for the fact that this is a functionally unique card. There isn't a card like this in the history of Magic. It's brand new. What I would like to say is I feel this is going to be a higher price point than the Iron Man because Iron Man was a 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. Captain America is a 3 mana 4-4. Four, four. And I feel that the actual effects on Captain America, in my personal opinion, is a lot more fun. And it'll be interesting to see what these cards are going to be individually when they're on the secondary market. Sagarda's Aid, you can get this from Commander Legends. This is currently going for $6.79. Flawless Maneuver, you can get this from Commander 2020, currently going for $8.86. And In the Trenches, you can get this from Brothers War at $0.31. Cents. And finally, Sword of War and Peace, you can get this from Double Masters. Currently going for $7.19, giving you a grand total 
for the four cards as we are unable to price Captain America in the cheapest form of $23.15. We're now going to repeat the process with the foil slot. We've got that increased target, $49.99. And again, Captain America we are not pricing as we are unable to. So we shall continue with Sigarda's Aid. You can get this from Eldritch Moon at $11.15. Flawless Maneuver, you can get this from Commander Masters, that's currently going for $9.41. And In the Trenches, you can get this from Brothers War, that is currently going for $0.57. Cents. And finally, Sword of War and Peace, you can get a Judge Gift Card 2023, and that foil is going for $12.59, giving you a grand total for these four cards in their cheapest foil form of $33.72. So there we have it. That is the entire financial breakdown for the Marvel's Captain America Secret Lair that's going to be coming out on the 4th of November. Now, yes, they are going to sell out. Yes, they're going to be on the secondary market for a stupid amount of money. But is it worth your hard earned cash? We have five cards in foil. They're going for $50. Are they really worth it? Personally, I don't think so. I do like the fact that Captain America has a fantastic ability and I like it way, way more than the Iron Man Titan of Innovation. I feel if you happen to like Marvel, you are going to purchase these at $40 or $50, even if there was $10 worth of value just for the fact of what they are, what they represent and the artwork that is on these cards. A great piece for collectors and obviously people that like to play the game as well. We also have the bonus card to think about and I keep my fingers crossed that for all the Marvel Secret Lairs they will have an actual themed bonus card rather than what we've had in the past, a sliver or possibly an elf. I hope this has helped you in some way shape or form to decide whether or not you would like to buy this particular Secret Lair and if it has done so please like, share, subscribe, do all the usual business, it will help out the channel hugely, thank you in advance. And other than that, all I'd like to say is thanks for watching, people, and we'll see you again soon here on Cardboard Badger.